How's everybody doing today? Uh, so yeah, today is the next day. Like I said, Sunday, um, going to be installing steering brace, glow shift gauges. Already got everything set up, laid out on the floor for the steering brace. It should not be longer than a 15 minute job getting this installed. Um, and then we can roll right into the actual install for the uh, glow shift gauges. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. If do me a favor, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, always, once again, like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the mount, I'm going to get everything set up, mount it, and then I'm going to show you guys how it looks, then I'll show you guys final, you know, how, how everything looks once everything's on and done, okay? So thank you guys for watching, uh, stay tuned. Real quick, just want to show you guys the new bright, the new brace, okay? That is it, um, big key right there, that L shape, the way that looks right there, instead of the typical flat one. Uh, I think that's going to be a real game changer. And then I got all my tools laid out over here. Um, Allen keys, you know, sockets, whatnot. Right here is a new bearing. Uh, this bearing is actually nicer than the one that came with the old kit. So this is a nice, high quality looking bearing. So this one looks way better than the other one. So I just want to show you guys that real quick. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this mounted. Then I'll show you guys what it looks like after. All right, you guys, so I went ahead. I got the brace installed now. I actually installed it and started prepping for the uh, for the what you call it the glow shift gauges so this is it she came in installed real clean uh, back there or down there sorry you can see the bearing brace it's mounted and everything it looks clean I got to grease it I don't have any I have grease but not the right type of grease for it so I'm gonna go to Walmart after I finish up everything pick up some grease so I can grease her uh, nothing should happen but yeah so she came out real good. Um, I'm happy with it. Way better quality product than what I had before. So, all right, you guys. So I went ahead. That's done. I'm getting the gauges and stuff set up right now. Um, I'm going to show you guys that right now. What I got going so far, which is not a whole lot. So right now it's a bunch of prep work. Uh, I got all the tools I needed. Glow shift provides very good uh, instructions. They tell you everything you need. Um, I got all my wrenches my 10 mil socket I already went ahead and took off this guy right here this panel in order to take this off all you gotta do is get a 10 mil so uh, 10 millimeter uh, socket there's two screws on the inside pop the caps off and they come out pretty self-explanatory um, back here I'm using the back seat as my workbench I took everything out uh, I'm a big I'm a big fan of when you know when it's time to do stuff I like to spread every I like to lay everything out that way I can see it that way I know you know when I'm reading the step I'm like okay it's talking about this right here you know instead of digging in the box trying to find it as I go along it's just easier for me to do work like that maybe you guys can try it maybe it'll work for you also forgot this white stuff is not acid it's uh, baking soda make sure you disconnect both negative side terminals uh, you can see over there I already disconnected that one and this one over here is disconnected, all right, because you don't want to be wiring this stuff up. Something touch, spark, burn it out, something crazy, all right? So I'm going to keep going, get this stuff set up, and we'll go from there, okay? All right, you guys, so I went ahead, did the first step. So the first gauge I'm doing is the boost gauge. Uh, as you can see here, this is the boost bolt, uh, the boost bolt adapter. Uh, well, all you do is pretty simple. You just take out four, six, seven. You're going to take out your... Uh, passenger side intake manifold bolt uh, go ahead and thread that make sure you use some Teflon tape that way your, your threads aren't you don't have a boost leak pretty much uh, run it down torque it down to 120 inch pounds I don't have 120 inch pound well I have one but it's quarter inch drive so I just snug it down um, the, the main thing is just to make sure it's snug and tight that way you don't have a boost leak okay um, this is oh my bad that is for a 5.9 that's going to be for a 5.9 Cummins uh, for a or six, I'm sorry, this is gonna be for a six, seven, four, five, nine. It would look like that, okay? So, I don't know how good you guys can see that, but if you look there, they took that forward passenger side, uh, in, you know, intake manifold bolt out and they threaded it in into there. And now, from there, I'm gonna pretty much set up and run the line into the cab and uh, go from there, okay? So, I just wanted to get you guys spooled up, let you know what's going on, okay? you guys so next step is going to be is going to be to this is I guess the fitting or adapter whatever it's called it's going to screw in here and then you the holes would go uh, on top 
of this guy is going to go there and couple into it. So I'm going to go ahead and get some pipe, uh, some I call it pipe thread, but I'm going to go ahead and get some pipe tape uh, wrapped around this bad boy, and then we're going to start routing this, okay? I'm not going to let you guys see all the boring stuff, but I just want you guys to be in the loop. Alright, so we got, went ahead and got that done now. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get in here. There's a little cap. It's going to be this little guy. And it's going to screw on here. But before I can do that, I have to get this little, there's a little tiny little, I don't know what it really is called, a little coupler or something. Get this little guy. Um, it's so small, but that's gonna sit on the line here. So now what I'm about to do is I'm about to start routing the line um, This is the boring part. So I ain't gonna show y'all me routing this, but just know that all you would do is uh, You would get this Put it on here like that and then you would come with this guy and you would push it. Oh, sorry I think I did it. I did it backwards. Yeah Don't do that <laughs> Put the put the coupler on first, and then come with this little boy right here, and then boom, okay. And then now I'm gonna screw that. I'm gonna screw this onto the fitting over there. Let me zoom in so y'all can still see it, okay. I'm gonna screw this onto that fitting that I just placed there. Run this into the cab right by where the pillars are gonna be, okay. So I'm gonna do that now, and I'll get I'll show you guys once I'm done. Okay, you guys. So we went ahead and moved on from a. Uh, the boost gauge wiring so I guess the way it works is that you pretty much run everything to up to the gauge and then you do the gauge installation so you connect everything to the gauges so we're moving on to the boost gauge now um, if you guys can't tell I zoomed in to the back flange side of uh, back there that plate there was a little tiny little uh, fitting in there I had the luxury of being able to just take that out so I can run my uh, EGT probe right here. I got it zoomed in real real good so you guys can see back there, okay? Um, one thing when you run it, they recommend putting some anti-seize on the threads. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I, I have some anti-seize here with me. I'm just going to put a little bit on the threads. That way, uh, yeah, pretty much that way it doesn't, you know, get uh, warped in there or anything because I do plan on taking that, taking that uh, probe out eventually again once uh, whenever I do the manifold slash turbo swap or rebuild still not sure yet um, up in the air about that but yeah so I just threw some anti C's on here now uh, we got some of that some of that, that good stuff you probably ain't gonna be able to see it on the camera because it ain't gonna focus it's kind of basic and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this in here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this bad boy down in there Okay guys, I just wanted to get you guys up front, close and personal. I ran the EGT probe line over here. Uh, I'm going to continue running it. I have to connect the wires into the cab of the truck, but that's what it looks like. Uh, she's all secured. Like I was saying, this uh, plate came with this little nut, or oh yeah, whatever, ferrule or whatever it's called, plug. I took the plug out in the center and I put the EGT probe down in there, okay? so. Now I'm gonna get the wiring for that. I'm gonna run that into the cockpit. <laughs> cockpit. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna run that into the side the uh, inside the truck. You guys know what I'm talking about, okay? So I just wanted to give you an update. All right, you guys. Status update. So I had I left. Had to get a haircut and stuff. Came back. Um, let's see. We're, we're trying to think where I left off. EGT. Everything is ran right now. All right. EGT line is ran to the inside. Uh, inside the cab. Boost line is ran inside the cab. I, I went ahead and ran the fuel line into the cab. I mean, all this stuff is real simple, boring stuff. I don't want to put you guys to sleep. Um, I'm running mine off of the air dog, the fuel pump right there. So what I did was I just ran mine straight. And this wire is actually kind of short. Um, I was a little surprised because originally they want you to run this to your fuel filter. 
but mine is pretty much it doesn't do anything no more so um, I had to kind of figure out what I was gonna do so what I did was I just drilled a little hole I'm gonna pick up a grommet from the uh, hardware store later on put a grommet in there but I just I just drilled a little hole underneath my driver's side floor ran the line up there from, oh snap ran it up it's underneath the carpet here I ran it I hid the wire and stuff nice and clean ran it up here and it's right here this is it okay so I ran that alright so now I have all three of these set up so what the next step is going to be is going to be getting the, the power harness I'm gonna run this and set this up I got to read upon this see how they want this to get uh, ran once I figure it out I'm going to start doing that and then obviously you know you guys are gonna be in the loop so you guys will know what is going on okay so we're making progress um, it should not be much longer before this is all wrapped up and taken care of alright so I'll get back with you guys in a sec alright you guys don't get don't think uh, this is going crazy right now. It's actually going real good. I'm just wiring up everything. Uh, I wanted to show you guys where I'm at so far. It's all right. So you guys already know we got our boost line ran, EGT probe line ran hanging up here, and then we got uh, this is going to be the fuel pressure, the fuel pressure gauge uh, connector where I, you guys already saw where I ran that underneath uh, and drilled a hole right about somewhere right about here. All right. Now I'm wiring up. I got my pods installed into the uh i'm not trying to move everything i got my pods pods installed into the pillar you just push them in and that's really it all right so don't get all crazy and be like oh man there's too much wiring it's really simple uh if you know colors you can do this okay so what happens is they provide you with a wiring harness kit this kit right here comes with it they say it's optional but mine came with it so i mean i'm happy about it and it's super simple it's th that is going to be the master harness so you can see right here this is the master harness for uh your lead power so your constant this is going to be i'm sorry yellow yeah yellow's constant ignition red uh there is not a ground well there yes there is a ground but the one ground is good for all of them and then orange is going to be for your accessory light so when you turn your headlights on it's going to cause the pods to dim so that way they're not super bright at night. Um, it's real easy and you know everybody has different ways of uh, different ways of connecting wires. I'm pretty simple. I just twist them together, make sure I got a nice tight twist, twist them together, get some electrical tape and I tape them there. So the way this one looks here, that's pretty much what I do with all of them. I did that I do that with my radios. I do that with a lot of stuff. Um, it works for me. I'm not a professional electrician so I don't care. You know, if you want to be even safe, I put some uh, zip ties here on the on the yellow wires because the tape wasn't holding that good for those. So I just got a little zip tie and zip tie them that way. I don't have to worry about the the tape peeling off. All right, not hard at all. Um, if you just take your time, the instructions are a little vague. Not gonna lie, they're a little vague. <coughs> but I just took my time and I stared at it, and I was like, okay, wait, this is the master wire. So I just need to wire up each one of these to the mat, the main one. So if you see here. This is the yellow one, right? So we got three yellow wires here. So one, two, and three. Each one individually going to each pod. And each pod has the same color, so you can't mix it up. And then if you come to the bottom of it, this is going to be the one that we're going to be running to the fuse box, okay? It's real simple, real simple. And it's the same concept for the other colors, too. Um, don't get don't get uh, swayed or, you know, discouraged by looking at all these wires and stuff. You can do it, okay? It just takes time. I'll pop this off because I'm probably going to end up putting my ground somewhere on this frame right here. Uh, if it's a good connection, if not, then I'll run it to battery. But that's it, okay? So just to update, letting you guys know what's going on. Uh, I don't. I feel no purpose in having to make a video or have it showing me wiring each one up. I feel like that's just really boring. Um, well, I know you guys want to see the part where it's installed and turn the key and it, everything comes on. So I'm working towards that part. So I'm, I also want to keep you guys updated. That way, you know, if someone's out there installing it like this, you know, they might not have, they might not understand, you know, what they need to do. Hopefully, this video is out there to be able to help you. Uh, understand how to install it okay so I'll see you guys in a sec all right you guys everything is wired up I got all of the bundles wired I'm probably gonna get some zip ties and kind of time time nice and clean that way they're not just all bird nest looking um, came out good now so now what we're gonna do is each one of these down here see if I can get a good zoom for you guys each one of these down here gonna run each yellow is gonna go to a certain fuse I'll show you guys all where all of these are gonna go okay I just wanted to show you guys end product of all of them wired up to the gauges they look good can't wait okay all right guys I wanted to show you guys one thing real quick for your boost gauge I don't think it mentions it in the instructions but I'm doing it just because I get that warm and fuzzy 
Uh, same concept like on the engine side. You gotta put the you're gonna have to screw this guy on first to this, like that. I just wanted to mention. Make sure you put some uh, tape, some pipe tape on there, okay? Uh, just that, that way you can minimize at all uh, having to take this out again because something small and stupid like that. So I pop the gauge out real quick. It's real easy to pop out from the inside. It could suck if you have to take it out while it's mounted. So I just popped it out, put some tape around it. Uh, this is going to screw on like that. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Uh, that way you guys might be in the loop, okay? All right. All right, you guys, so far, so good. It looks, I like it, it the way it sits in here. Uh, that is so pretty, okay? So the reason why I wanted to show you all is how I did the routing, okay? So once you pop this little panel off here, you get pretty good access to a lot of stuff, all right? I actually rerouted some other wires I had. So, so far, this is the wire bundle. We're going to be running this pretty much to the engine bay, to the fuse box and elsewhere. Um, this hole right here and this hole right here, two good access points, and it'll, it'll shoot you right underneath the steering wheel. Um, I actually got some slack on some of these wires I'm going to have to bundle up and zip tie because they're hanging a little low. If you come underneath here, you can see this right here. That's not clean, obviously. That's the EGT one. I just want to show you guys how I did it. So I came. You know, got all the wires right about at this point where all the wire bundles were. Got a zip tie. I zip tied it so it was one tight little, you know, bundle. Then I just brought them all down here. I mean, you guys can see right there where I got them all hanging out at. And this is, you know, it's going to look clean when done. So I'm going to go ahead and start routing these to the fuse boxes and where they need to go. I'll, once I get there and I, I, you know, plug them in and stuff, I'll show you guys and then we will go from there, okay? All right, you guys, update time. So everything is done with a you know kind of like a question mark no I'm just kidding it's not no question mark but seriously though everything is wired up uh, please please excuse the ghetto rat nest um, I'm gonna buy some conduit wrap pretty much this stuff here buy some wrap I should have bought some earlier I'm gonna wrap this stuff up so it could look clean and professional I could duct tape it or I'm mean, not duct tape <laughs> I could uh, electrical tape it but whatever so I ran everything okay so in the instructions you guys it's simple your yellow wire you're gonna you're gonna go slot 31, and if you don't know, on the fuse fuse panel, there are position numbers telling you what each fuse slot position number is. So it was pretty easy for this truck. So uh, yellow wire, you will put that to slot 31. Red wire, slot 33. Orange wire for your headlights, slot 16. Okay. Black wire obviously is a ground. So what I did was I just ran that straight to my battery. Uh oh. Uh, gotta get my pliers for that one. Uh, I ran it straight to my battery terminal and crimped it down. I also put new connectors on here, so it looks a little better. Um, I use this to make sure that. Now I'm gonna show you why I use this for uh, the orange wire. Okay, orange wire. It tells you slot 16. Make sure. Yeah, slot 16. Slot 16 on a. Now this is a 2008 Dodge Ram. Um, I can't speak for any other year model except this one because this is the one I have uh, for 2008 16 was right here alright now what I did was I didn't get one of these fuse blocks because they were sold out so it was an open spot oh I'm sorry 16 is this one alright let me start over 16 is, is, is this guy right here so if you look here and you probably yep right there that's 16 okay 16 is gonna be right there where this needle is pointing all right 16 is right there that blue fuse but I no longer had any more of these guys so all I did was I got my fuse tester and all I did I hooked it up to a ground the battery and I tested that port right here the one that is currently in it, it wasn't current when the uh, headlights were off when I turned the headlights on I got uh, a positive from it so I knew that that was act that was a headlight activation you know uh, port so what I did was I just got a little uh, spade connector got a spade connector crimped it pushed it in there and that is a done and that's done right there just like that so everything's wired up um, I have not turned it on yet to test it out or anything yet you guys are going to be the first ones to experience it along with myself uh, but one thing I also wanted to mention that is extremely important that I did not mention when I was doing the fuel one all right this guy right here this right here is a snubber. This is going to be your, your fuel pressure snubber. Uh, it's pre it's going to prevent any spikes in uh, pressure readings, especially during ignition startup. So, um, or initial startup. I'm sorry. 
So I forgot to install this. I didn't even see it until I was cleaning up, and then I saw this, and it said snubber, and I'm like, and it said must install on, you know, I think it was like 90, 98, or 94 to 2012, 13, uh, 6, 7, 5, 9 Cummins, and I read about it, and I was like, oh my goodness, I almost forgot this. So it's a real simple put on. Um, this goes right on top of the pressure switch. So down here, all I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to unplug this, unscrew it, screw this guy in first and then screw that back into it uh once again always make sure you use some pipe thread uh tape that way you get a nice you don't have any leaks or any air leaks or anything like that okay so i'm going to go ahead and swap this out real quick and then we're going to fire this bad boy up all right all right you guys so i went ahead this is the way it's supposed to look okay please make sure if you're going to watch anything on the video make sure you watch this part with the uh pressure or the snubber for the pressure gauge because I don't want you guys to damage your gauge or mess up anything you know what I'm saying so make sure you uh, put that on okay don't forget it um, I got it on it took like not even a minute to swap out and everything's run nice and clean and it's nice to look down here sometimes just to see how you know everything's holding up. oh snap all right just finished cleaning up the old shop let's find out what we about to get I ain't gonna lie I'm a little curious slash you know you know that feeling you get like when you finish a job and you're like crossing your fingers and stuff <laughs> all right no power okay well that's not good let's do some troubleshooting all right, you guys, so I went ahead. Uh, I'm a dumbass. I know why now it wasn't working. It was, I forgot to put, I didn't put, there's two fuses on the expandable circuit inside of the fuse box, those little chips that I put on. There's two little pink fuses that have the letter E on them. I didn't put those on, so it wasn't giving the power to the gauges. Uh, I spent about 30 minutes. I watched the video online, re read, found out what I did. Now I fixed it. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna I'm gonna turn the key. They do work and they look badass, okay? Alright, you guys get ready for this, okay? Ooh. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. And we got them. That's it. That's it, boys. Okay. Boost. Uh oh. All right, what's that? Fuel pressure? Okay, fuel pressure is sitting at about, uh, let's see if we can get a focus. Fuel pressure is, it looks like 17-ish, 16 and a half PSI. Let me know if you guys, let me know if that's uh, right. Boost? Well, there's only one way, one way to find out if boost is working. Uh-oh, ain't getting the right boost reading, uh-oh. No boost. EGT is going up. Okay. Well, we gotta find out what's up with this one. Oh, I changed the color. Oh man. Oh, that is so cool. I like that color right there. That's it. Heck yeah. Set them up. Set them up. Oh, that's the color right there. That aqua. Hell yeah. All right. Let's see if the dimmers work. Oh yep. Yeah, dimmers work. Dimmers work. Oh, heck yeah. All right, you guys, this is it. Glow shift gauges, done. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to show you real quick what I was talking about with the fuses. Um, you can't see them now, but if you guys look at the fuse chunk, there is two fuses, the red one, which is the right one, the 10 amp, that's what where it came from, and then there's a pink, purple looking one underneath of it. That is what I did not have in there. So if you use these fuse, these little circuit expanders, whatever they're called, you got to put that in there. If not, it's not going to work. Uh, I just figured that out the hard way. Uh, probably should have read the instructions when uh, <laughs> inside of them, but I figured I knew what I was doing. So I just want you guys to see that. All right. All right, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I know it was it was a Sunday. You know, sun was out and the sun set and stuff like that. But um, nonetheless, it was an awesome install. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Use this video as a learning curve for when it's time for you to do uh, glow shift gauges. Or if you go with ISPRO, maybe you can get some tips from what, what I did for your ISPRO gauges. Um, 
I personally cannot get its pro gauges. They are way too expensive. Uh, when I looked them up, five hundred dollars for three gauges, I was like, no, nah, <laughs> no way. Uh, same thing with Autometer, I think it's called. They're expensive too. Glowshift had the best deal, and they backed their stuff up with a lifetime warranty, so you can't really beat that. But that is it. Uh, if you guys got any questions, anything, drop it in the comment box. You guys know I always respond to you, uh, respond to all of y'all. Um, also, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I didn't want to make it crazy long and crazy, you know, all over the place. Um, steering brace is good. This is a two-in-one now, so steering brace is good. It's done. Glow shift gauges aren't installed. Uh, I got work tomorrow, so I'm not going to be out here all night and stuff. I'm supposed to get some food soon, so I'm uh, looking forward to having the next video with you guys. Don't know what the next update is going to be, next mod is going to be. If you guys got any recommendations that are within means or within reason, you know what I'm saying? They'll be like, oh, dude, do your transmission. You know, no, that's like 8Gs. I don't have that right now. Um, but yeah, if you guys got anything you want to see, any type of video, uh, drop it in the description box below. A lot of y'all were real adamant about the whole rail plug review video. I delivered that to you guys. A lot of you guys got seemed to really like that video. Um, I was just trying to keep it real, you know what I'm saying? So nonetheless, until next time, you guys take it easy. Have a good night. Enjoy your week. Be safe. God bless.